Lake TV here now joined by Alicia Machino, the board president for the Lake of the Ozarks FCA. <laughs> Alicia, thanks for joining us. Thank you so much for having me. I'm very excited to be here. We're excited to talk about the second annual Bridge and Dam Half Marathon and 10K. What an event this should be. I hope it is. We're expecting it to be. Last year was our first year and mm -hmm. it turned out to be a phenomenal event. We had overwhelming positive feedback last year, so we're hoping to build on that this year. Okay, so now when people hear the Bridge and Dam Half Marathon, where does this race start? It starts on Bagnell Dam. They get to run the full width of Bagnell Dam. And then so where else does it go? It goes up the strip and across the community bridge, which is beautiful. And then we take a jog down um, Spring Creek Road that goes alongside Portachima's golf course for a little bit. And we come back out and go back across the toll bridge again, which is again, another beautiful site. And we get to finish uh, on the strip, which will be lots of fun. Which is awesome. Mm -hmm. And for those of you that are thinking, man, 13.1 miles is too long for me. There is a 10K portion, which is 6.2 miles. Correct. And so that might be better mm -hmm. for you. Now, if we want to sign up, what are the costs and where can we go register? Uh, we've got our website and it's bridge and dam half marathon and 10k.com. No, it's not. It's bridge and dam half marathon dot com. Okay. And the cost for the half marathon is 75. The 10K is 65. And registration, online registration will close next Wednesday at 5 p.m. Okay, now you told us about the, the website, but easier for you guys maybe to sign up. Facebook, you can find that link directly on your guys' Facebook page. Where mm -hmm. would we search to go like that uh, event on Facebook? Facebook is uh, Bridge and Dam Half Marathon. Awesome. Yeah. And Lake TV will be sharing that page on the mm -hmm. Lake TV Facebook page. It'll be easier for mm -hmm. you guys to find that. Go like mm -hmm. their page. And cost is not that bad for a half marathon. No. Be part mm -hmm. of an awesome organization. Where does this money go in the FCA? Lake of the Ozarks FCA. All the money stays here at the lake. Okay, so besides this event, go ahead and talk about some of the other things the FCA is doing here at the Lake of the Ozarks. Oh my goodness, the FCA is very busy. Um, as far as our main focus is reaching campuses, coaches, the community, um, all through uh, camps. We are hosting camps at in June, actually most of June. We have several camps for students, Edge Camp, the Power Camp, and some of those are free, some of those have a, an expense depending on if we've gotten a sponsor to pay for it or not. Um, they're usually week long and just all throughout the school year, actually basically just taking July kind of off, Kathy Wieson, who's our area representative, just is all over the place, just ministering to people, coaches and students and just she is a breath of fresh air and just bringing life to everybody she talks to, really. So. That is so <laughs> awesome. Uh, and for those of you that don't know, FCA stands for Fellowship of Christian Athletes, mm -hmm. correct? Yes. And you guys have a general website, which is? MidmoFCA.org. So midmofca.org, mm -hmm. go check that out. You can find more information about those summer camps coming in June. Get your kids in those yeah. camps. A great way to learn about the uh, sports they're participating in and learn from people that'll mentor them the correct way. Alicia, okay. thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Can't wait to go cover that uh, half marathon and 10K. I won't be running in it. Are you gonna be running in it? No, I will be making sure everything goes well. Surely <laughs> making sure everything's gonna go well. Lake TV is gonna be there to shoot footage, video, interviews, all kinds of fun stuff. So make sure you join us. Alicia, thanks so much. Thank you.